Hi, my name's Matt, and it's a bit of a different video today. I won't be dressing up as George R.R. R. Martin or talking about pizza. Instead, I'll be unboxing this package that I ordered from an artist in the United States. Let's open it. So yeah, this package is from Jim Ether, an artist working uh, in Ohio in the United States. Let's see what he sent. Right on top are some of these guys. I think they're just adorable. They're, uh, they're little wooden cats with marbles for eyes. I, uh, I ordered about half a dozen of these last year and ended up giving them away as gifts. And uh, I don't know if people like them or if they were creeped out by the design. I just think it's so cute though. So yeah, three of these. And he's even attached little wire hangers to the back so they can be put up on a wall. Very cute. Up next is something that I requested especially. I hear this referenced in popular culture, you know, movies, TV, all the time. Graham crackers. And, uh, you know, we, we don't get these in Australia. I'm curious to see what they're actually like. Honey grams, crackers made with real honey. And this is also a good test of the postage system. It looks like this box has arrived mostly intact, which having used USPS before is somewhat surprising. So yeah, here they are. Graham crackers, or graham crackers as we would call them in Australia. Let's open them up and have a try. Now, I'm not sure, I think these are also the type of crackers that you would make s'mores out of, that uh, marshmallow chocolate campfire thing. There it is, there's a graham cracker. Let's give it a go. Hmm, very dry, very plain. If you can imagine a an Arnott's biscuit, but uh, slightly, uh, slightly uh, less flavorsome. Hmm, really good. And they arrived intact, so impressive. Uh, got an air pack here. And this, I think I know what this is. This is a hydrocal casting of one of Jim's characters called Bob. There he is. Look at him. I think Bob's supposed to be a Shriner or maybe just a wizened old man. But uh, yeah, he, uh, he did castings of these and they were featured in a, uh, a sort of mini gallery thing in the US called Artemat, where you could buy one of these, I don't know how much for, um, and uh, take it home and hang it on your wall. Brilliant. Up next, again, another special request that I made was for some junk mail from the United States. I just wanted to see what products were available and at what prices. So I'm going to have a good time going through this later. I see a lot of products that are available here and some that aren't. Um, interesting. And this, this is great. This is, let me see if I can just get it in frame here. Uh, this is one of a series that Jim did again. Uh, I think he started with uh, Mimes on Plums and did a couple of hundred of those and then progressed to what you see here, Mimes on Fruits. And it's come in a lovely frame. Uh, yeah, this will make, make a great addition to my shelf of, of stuff I've ordered off Jim from the internet. Still more, this is a big box full of stuff. Uh, I think this will be, yes, this is some skull art. Uh, splatter skull that Jim made. I just think that's a great design. He did, uh, again, many, many different versions of these, which I hope have sold very successfully because it's a good piece of art. And yeah, I'm also uh, the admin of a, a, a group on Facebook called The Bone Zone, which is all about pictures of skeletons. No, 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 put the phone down. Stop calling the police. Pictures of skeletons. Uh, that, uh, you know, people post and we enjoy them and there's nothing weird or illegal about that. And one more thing, it looks like. That's a little, I think that might be one of the mystery paintings. That's nice. A guy at a, some sort of, oh, it's a mechanic. It's a car. He's working on a car. Uh, nice. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of stuff that I ordered from America. And uh, if you're interested in buying some of Jim's art, I'll provide links to his website, Parasark, uh, his Etsy store, and his YouTube channel where you can actually watch these pieces of art being made and uh, hear little narrations by Jim. Thanks for watching.